can you guys mute all of you some sound is coming from background using ajax but it's a jquery function so jquery.js that should be used uh example we are taking here cascading drop down suppose i have a drop down called country country drop down and i have a drop down called state another drop down so what i want this drop down i will bind as usual bind all countries when page loads in general process as you do and second what i want is when i will select one country then take that country id uh to controller using ajax okay collect all states of that country and bind it bind to second drop down suppose this is the work we want to do using ajax uh here in c sharp side you have to know little about a generic collection class called select list item okay whenever uh, you bind any of the data to a drop down uh drop down checkbox list or radio button list so they accept the data in the form of select list item so this is a generic collection class which is having two property one is called value one is called text already we have used it but we have not gone in depth because that time it was model data the moment you take the model data it was uh internally type casting it to select list item so you might have seen there when you are binding that model data that time you are type casting to this but this time why little in depth we are going is uh not necessarily my view will have some model based view suppose i am taking country drop down right data for country drop down that time may be country data i need when i am bringing straight list for that particular country may be my model data is straight list so sometimes country list sometimes straight list you know sometimes some list i will take to that view so i don't want to hard code any type of the model data to that view if that is the case then you prepare in your backend itself in your controller side one list of select list item which will have value and text text and value okay so if you are taking that then easily you don't need to hard code some model class into that view if your model your view is non model based view then also it will work because my country list or state list both are in the form of list of select list item so list of select list item it's a generic class which can be embedded for a list which will have usually what do we do sometimes you do product right list of product means what you understand if product is having three four property then it will have that many 
property into that many list right so this time instead of list of product list of employee list of some entity class we are making select list item type that means key value key value key value like that it will have one list okay value and text v for value that value will say what you want to save in the database and text will say what you want to display on the screen imagine you want to display india and the country id india is value 1 then here you have to say 1 here you say india like that you have to prepare a list and pass it okay so to suppose sri lanka and so on so somehow whatever your database is returning you catch it in the repository and from that you put into list of select list item so you have to prepare something like new list of select list item and that country list you have to put it into this your country list might be having country id and country name but this list will not have country id and country name it will have value text value text value text like that okay so you have to prepare that this list of select list item and put it into a view data or view bag so collect country list maybe with country id and country name and put that into below list of select list item that is first activity you have to do because you don't want to hard code a model based view otherwise you have to hard code a model based view and that model data dot uh, whatever the list property that you have to push and then tell that this is value this is text etc so rather than that i don't want to go for a model based view i can go for a blank uh, view also without any model so if that is the case then you have to prepare this list out of your country list same thing for state also whenever it is required so this is one extra thing you have to do and you have to put that list into view view data so view data or view back so once your list of select list item is ready list of select list item is ready put that list into a view data basically view data is a state uh, which will help you to access in the view uh, in the view once you put the data in the controller okay so view data is a state that will automatically be accessed in view once you put the data in controller so exactly that we are doing so put that data in controller and access that in the view so see i have implemented this in a small example i will show you i have not used any three tier entire or any architecture uh, because it's a communication between controller and view whether you are using three tier, n tier, or a single tier, doesn't matter. So I will name this notepad as Ajax underscore txt. It's written in 2019 version, but doesn't matter if you can do same coding in 2022 also. So it's a 
concept between controller and view. Whether you have model, you have repository or not, you have database connectivity or not, that is totally up to your requirement. But view wants to send the data to controller through Ajax and controller wants to send the data to view through Ajax. That is what our understanding new today. So, what I have done, I have written a model class where a couple of functions I have defined instead of preparing a separate repository layer. It is a single tier architecture project. You can convert it to multi tier also. In fact, when you will implement this in your project, obviously you have to do it in multi tier. Currently, I am fetching the data from model, some hard coded data. You can fetch it from repository, from the database. So, first I will show you that part what I am talking about. Country is a class which is having some hard coded data. Focus on this. This is hard coded data. You can collect it from database if you put that in the repository. So, in controller, I am collecting data from repository or model that depends upon your architecture. Since I have used single tier architecture, so I am collecting the data from model class. If you are using two tier, three tier, n tier, as per that, you have to collect the data accordingly. Okay. So, focus on this two line, which I explained just now in notepad. Once you collect the data, you have to prepare a list of select list item, right? Otherwise, it will expect a model based view. So, I do not want to do model based view, I want to put through a view data. So, first view data I want to prepare and bind the drop down. So, see what I am doing. That time I am not using Ajax, it is just a simple function call. Focus on line number 16. I am calling the repository or model function which is giving me all list of country. But unfortunately, if I will not use all of this, think for a minute. I want to directly take this list of country, then my view should be of model type list of country. But always my view does not need list of country. Sometimes it may need list of state also. So, I did not want to depend upon the model based view. Now, you focus on this highlighted area. So, what I did is I prepared a list of select list item. Okay and whatever data collected through LST country, I assume that one is called country ID, one is called country name. So, I went on putting country ID and country name into that list of select list item and finally, that list I put it into a view data. That is the extra thing you are doing here. It is not because you are using Ajax, this is because you do not want to hard code your view with a model based view. You have no idea what will be the model, sometimes country list, sometimes state list. How can I define predefined model class? So, I did not want to hard code the model class in the view. So, if you go to the view, right click and go to view. So, have a look, it is a very simple view. Inside body, I have two drop down one is country drop down, one is state drop down. First, you focus on country drop down. Here, previously you know model data, right? First is ID, second is model data, this time view data. So, if you do not have a model class extremely at the top level, okay? if you do not have a model data extremely at the top level, line number 1, then you can bind also using view data or view bag. So, view data of country list, already I am sending here view data of country list. So, that country list whatever just now I prepared which is of generic collection select list item easily can be accessed there and binded. So, how I am binding have a look. I said ID should be country, that means that drop down ID, ID of the drop down should be country and data should be binded as view data of country list and typecasted to list of select list item. 
So when you do this, automatically it will understand. No need to mention that uh, country ID, common country name, because it expects only and only text and value. So it will understand. Select list item means it will be text and values. So you need not to mention which is my value column and which is my text column. So that way it will bind this drop down. So as of now, whatever I explain, it is just one more way of binding drop down. As of now, we have not started Ajax. Okay, one more way of binding drop down. One is using model data. One is using view data or view bag. View bag also will have same process. Okay, so instead of saying here view data equal to, you will say view bag equal to. Here also view bag dot as something something. So when your view is a model based view, then model dot something will be the binding process. If your view is not a model based view, then store that data into either view data or view bag and then bind it. So first part of our work is done. That means fetch the data from database to controller and then bind that data using select list item to the drop down called country. Now Ajax starts. I selected suppose one of the country. Okay, I selected one of the country. Now I have two way now. If I want, I can go for a HTTP POST function and uh, through server side, I can call that HTTP POST function and then I can recreate, re-render and re-displayed that page. But in that case, what will happen? It will expect all other elements to be re-render. But we want, without re-rendering whole page, we want to only disturb that state drop-down nothing else. So, the moment I will select country, since I have already binded my country with select list item, select list item itself is having value, text, value, text, value, text like that, right? So, whichever text I selected, suppose you selected India, so one will go, you selected Sri Lanka, two will go. So, that two or one, I want to take as a input through the Ajax. Okay? There is a jQuery function called Ajax. I will call that and I will pass one input called 1 or input called 2. I will tell you what is the process to send input. But yeah, same like document.ready, script, dollar, all those things will be used and some jQuery coding you have to write. And inside that jQuery coding, you have to call a function called Ajax. And inside that Ajax function, two, three things you have to send. One is input data just like one for India, two for Sri Lanka and so on and so forth. Another is what controller name, what action method name, okay? which controller or which action method you want to call. Another is in which format you want to transport the data, JSON format, okay? JSON, XML or JSON, this kind of format of the data we used to send. Uh, so, format of the data, input of the data, URL, URL or we can say controller or action method where you want to call that uh, action method. So, these things, two, three things you have to pass through that Ajax. Then without re-rendering whole page, that means reloading the whole page, recreating the whole page again, uh, it will focus that acha, controller number C1, action method number A1. So, C1 dash A1 please call it and input parameter you pass it one like that it will understand which particular action method and which particular controller we are supposed to call it now coming to on selection of country what we are doing to bind this state okay on selection of country what we are doing to bind the state Acha, you tell me suppose i want to define that attribute uh, action may be anything, I want to define a jQuery function to execute on selection of country. Okay. When it is a button, we are saying on click attribute, right? click, C-L-I-C-K. Now, when it is 
country as a drop down their click will not work guys okay uh, nobody says i clicked the drop down we say we selected the drop down right selected is a changing value so if you come here it's a change function there is a function called change so document are ready that you everybody know so first line is a document are ready now focus on this attribute particularly from here to here this is closing bracket line number 35 for opening bracket line number 15 so inside document ready we are just going to define the attribute now focus in this highlighted area so every time we are doing button id dot click but this time i am saying drop down id dot change that means when somebody is going to change the data of the drop down then dynamic dynamic function is this much so it will call from here to here right so this highlighted area will be executed now this highlighted area called dynamic function is defining one more attribute inside so first it is saying whatever that state drop down currently having please make it empty empty is again a jquery function guys change is also jquery function ready also a jquery function empty is also jquery function so for any id if you click on you know if you call empty function uh, like text box or drop down or anything then it will clean that particular element input element so drop down will be cleaned first i don't want to keep the existing data in that drop down i cleaned that drop down okay now focus on this this is the ajax part so these are all optional empty making empty and all optional but for safer side i am just making it empty now focus on this part dollar dot ajax that means i am calling a function called ajax okay dollar dot ajax i am calling a function called ajax if i will cut it for a second you will see it is nothing but a ajax function call only give me a minute system got little hanged yeah so have a look line number 21 if you see it is just on ajax open bracket close bracket but inside that what we did is we defined a dynamic function okay you can write function like this also f u n c t i o n open bracket close bracket then curly bracket you can ignore this also okay that is optional but you can write you can ignore now come to this so what are the input parameters you are sending to call that ajax function first is type whether it is post type or get type or what type then url url particularly when you are calling internally internally means from a view to controller that is called internal call if you are calling one web api that is called external call okay so currently i am not jumping to web api because my function is available in the same application named as load countries this is the action method name load countries right uh, inside this there is something called get states first load countries and then it will go to get states and i need one input parameter called id so here data is nothing but input parameter so type is you know what type you want method is get or method is post or what and url means whether it is one api call or it is one internal call if it is internal call you have to say url dot action and within bracket you give the action if it is belongs to another controller then you have to give your controller name also okay if it is belongs to same controller you just give the action method name that is enough because my view and my controller both are related to each other but imagine this view is belongs to another controller and i'm calling actually function from another controller then you have to give your comma and then controller name line number 24 data type you can say json you can say xml you can say text also this time i want to communicate through json because list of data right 
if list of data then either i will go for xml or i will go for json if your technology is supporting json it is always better to go for json because json is lightweight and faster than xml data transportation then coming to data data says input is there any input this ajax function is passing in our case it is yes that is country id so what i did i put into one variable called id you can make it here x if you are making x then don't forget to make here also x it should be exact same spelling so id so here i took id any number of input parameter you can pass like i said id colon this you can say comma y colon this comma z colon this like that any number of parameter if you want you can pass it so what i passed here check it out dollar hash country hash country means what you understand id country get the value from that and put it into this id that means whatever country i selected that country it will collect and then it will put into this id then there is two additional function which is optional uh, success and uh, error okay error i have not mentioned you can mention if any so success says if everything goes well then what to do error says you can see this curly bracket start from here and closes here right comma if necessary you can say error you know and colon then again function and here open bracket close bracket again curly bracket you can say alert whatever there is some exception please try again later all these things you can try so that is optional so i have not put it success is if everything goes well that means whatever function you have mentioned that is existing whatever input you are passing that input you are catching there also and finally some data has been returned from the controller also whatever necessary data then that data will be copied to this x line number 26 x that means anything that is returning back it will copy to this so success block will happen i mean execute if everything goes well as per our plan if by chance that function doesn't exist or you are passing the parameter id but there are something else spelling is there so anything goes wrong then it will go to error otherwise it will go inside the success block now see what i did inside success block i have a table here sorry i have a drop down here called state okay currently i have nothing to bind i just binded one empty string and what is that string please select a state nothing else on load of the page i don't want any data to bind here this is some width and height if you need some style equal to something you can give which is optional again so i want it should be a blank drop down on the load of the page only one text should be there on that drop down please select a state but when it will get the data when i will select this drop down it should get the data that's why i say it as cascading drop down so obviously i will target this id line number 45 s t a t e that is the id of that drop down so come here line number 28 so dollar has state dot append append means again it's a jquery function to append some elements to any control okay so append means don't delete the existing one put the new one so imagine three state list came here in this x if this three state list came in this x here after sending the id of that country then it will go to this get states function let's go to that get states function here i have hard coded something if you want you can collect it from database also okay so if you pass id of the country easily we can collect state list of that country id if your table is in that way you know you can we might have a, have one on table where state id state name and country id like that you have three columns and uh, uh, collect wherever it is matching with that country id 
So finally, suppose I got some list of states here, line number 30. Okay. Currently, I had coded. If you want, you can collect it from the database also. If user is sending one as country ID, please give this, this, this state. If user is sending two, please give this, this state. So, I have a hard coded here, okay, because that is not our priority. You know what is database connectivity. So, I send country ID. I want to get the state list of that country ID. So, again, it should be select list item type. Why? Because my view is not model based view. If my view is model based view, perhaps select list item is not required. You could have said model capital M model dot LST state or something. But this time we do not have any model type in the view. So, I am using select list item. So, inside this already it have prepared to text value, text value, text value. So, in the state list. Now, it is returning that JSON. Here something new have a look again focus line number 33. Every time we used to have I action result or action result right. Uh, but this time we are using JSON result. Why so? Because if I will send I action result or action result, then it will be server side re rendering. If I will say JSON result, it can be consumed by Ajax function and it will not re render whole page. Whichever particular element it is targeting to, it will re render that page. So, there is a new type of return type in the MVC action method we saw now that is called JSON result. Okay. XML result, JSON result, uh, you know, JavaScript result, some I action result or action result, these are various uh, return types. Out of that, we are returning now JSON result because my data has to be converted to JSON and send it. You can see line number 37. Instead of simply saying return to view, I am saying return JSON of whatever. So, up to this, it is a list only text value, text value, text value like that. But currently it will prepare, I will put a breakpoint and I will show you how it is really converting to uh, JSON. Uh, in fact, here it, you cannot see, um, if you want to store in another variable, then here you have to say string x equal to JSON of LST states and then return x like that two lines if you are writing, you can see it will be converting to JSON and then pass that JSON to this uh, Ajax. Now, imagine that JSON which is having text value, text value, text value, it came to this line number 26, X parameter. This is a return value, X. Any na name you can take. I took X, you can take ABC also, no problem. Now, focus this dollar each. We have something called for each loop, right, in C sharp. But in jQuery, that for each loop has been operated by some function called each dollar each okay dollar dot each so here as per the syntax first will be what data you want to loop through second is what you want to do in this function i comma y i stands for indexes 0 1 2 3 so first time when this loop will execute i will be 0 second time when it will execute i will be 1 2 3 4 and so on but I am not using this i, that is different story. Y says, every time when loop is running, this is like a loop, okay, the syntax of for each loop in jQuery. So, Y says, every time you pick the data from X, imagine X is having 10 data. So, every time one, one data you are fetching, one text value, another text value, another text value, like that, every time you are collecting one object, which is having one text, one value. So, Y will have one comma India. If it is straight list, maybe one comma Delhi, two comma Karnataka, three comma, you know, UP. Like that it will have. So, when first time it will run, imagine my data is one comma, uh, what do you say, Delhi. Then that uh, one is called value. Delhi is called text, so I am just preparing one option. So, when you go to HTML, drop down always starts with select and inside that select option, 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 how many times? That many times, option, option will be there, right? So, you are preparing that option and 
you are appending with this drop down called state so what will happen as of now it is a blank drop down but uh, after executing this bunch of jquery ajax callback function so it will append all the states that came from the controller so i have put a breakpoint already in both the functions let me run this and show you how it is behaving so there are two types of call by ajax one is internal call internal call means our internal controller will be called internal controller and action method another way of calling through ajax is web api okay any rest api so which is running through http uh, http protocol so if you call that then what will happen instead of targeting into internal controller and internal action method whatever url will give http colon double slash www dot something dot com slash something whatever so that will be the web api endpoint url and it will target to that web api we will see that also but first let's focus internal ajax call that means one of the view in the internal function is going to call the ajax uh, ajax way of controller action method so when controller is in the same application we say it as internal ajax call if that controller is in some other api then we say it as external call or api call client side api call so first i came to this load countries i i assume that i collected from database line number 16 so f10 f10 so here you know you have some list of country just like this five country i brought from database currently i have hard coded but you assume that you got it from database okay now that i am converting to select list item type so i will put a breakpoint directly in line number 27 and i will show you this is now a list which is of text value text value will be there can you see text is select value is zero text is uh, uh, one sorry india value is one and so on and so forth so because i don't have any model based view in my view it is a empty model so i'm passing that through view data so when i will pass that through view data then that view data will be binded to the country so here it binded to the country so in our project i think i have given some other labeling here country versus state they are something versus something so process will be same only instead of hard coding the data you have to collect it from database in the repository layer otherwise everything process is same so here i selected suppose india okay so this time it will not go for the server side call it will go for ajax call that means the moment i will click this change event will happen for the drop down right change event will happen for drop down means what it will go to that ajax call so if you put one alert message you can easily understand that it is coming to that ajax okay so now through ajax it called me to this get states because in my ajax call i have written please call get states please take input parameter as id so let me check whether that id has come or not you can see here that id which is called country id has come here as one so now it will take it to the database f10 assume that it is communicating with the repository and repository is filtering from the database and returning me those list of states which is belongs to that country so next have a look so for country id one i selected all those list of states which is uh, applicable okay now that list of state as of now up to line number 35 it is object oriented format right but i want it json format so i said json of that list of states so the moment it will return that json where it will go it will go to the success function okay and that returned json data whatever it is this data in the json format will be copied to this x then it will loop through dollar each means for each it loop through and prepare xy 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 and then 
uh, sorry y dot value y dot text y dot value y dot text like that and it will bind to my second drop down. So, as of now my second drop down might not having any data it is empty right. Now, what it will do when I will continue this it should now bind that currently coming data. So, now what I will do is I will remove all breakpoints and I will select that China delete all breakpoints. Let me select another country China now see here okay again I will select India. You will mark one thing here every time when you are doing server side call a stream at the top of the browser it might be for a second also it might be rendering the page when you render the page na, one small round round symbol will come at the top reloading ok. So, without recreating reloading re rendering and re displaying silently it is binding my drop down. Imagine this page is having lot of other things below it will not even refresh those things it will not even disturb those things. So, wherever you think my page is having lot of things, but a particular area of that page or particular element of that page I want to bind the data or I want to handle some event that time you use Ajax point number one. Point number two if you think it is very secure process, secure coding, secure data, secure input then you should not go for Ajax because if somebody right click and go to page source he can easily see what are all the input, what are all the target functionality everything that you mention here it will be easily see, seen by the common user. So, security wherever required Ajax is not a good idea ok insecure definitely every client side things are insecure, uh, but 10 percent only in your application you may need high security where if coding or data or input will be known to the user it is problem. So, those 10 percent cases even though it will take some extra time uh, like for server side and re-rendering the page re develop, you know reloading and re-rendering and redisplaying whole page it is ok you should go for uh, server side. But if you think that a particular area where I do not have any uh, much security issue there you can go for Ajax because it will be faster than uh, server side call as well as it will be uh, not disturbing to all other things uh, except if it is a password type or so it will disturb it ok. So, some specific control will be there which will say that you can disturb but other than that general controls they will say you need not to uh, disturb other elements um, you can just silently call the Ajax function in the client side itself. Now, this is internal call we will see now something called external call external call means API call ok from client side same Ajax funda everything same only thing is instead of line number 23 targeting to internal action method or internal controller this is action method I did not mention controller because controller is the same controller it will automatically understand if you go to page source it will tell you uh, whatever controller name slash whatever and this let us go to again I have written only get states but it is saying Ajax example slash get state because my controller name is Ajax example ok. So, it is by default it will understand it. So, you need not to mention that, uh, but if it is belongs to some other controller then you have to mention that explicitly. Now, coming to external call of Ajax everything will be same only this line will be different ok, line number 23 will be changed all other things will be same only. So, let me open one more example where I will only change this line all other things almost similar ok. So, let me run this other application. 
so what i have done is uh, whichever example i have shown you for web api okay calling one web api and binding the data something like that in the same web api i copy pasted and additionally that ajax function only i pasted there so let me go to that web api I don't know, it is taking some time. Okay, while it is opening, I will do one thing. Let me open one instruction notepad and give some instruction before proceeding. Whenever you go for external API call through Ajax, some points to be remembered. This is points to be remembered for internal call and that notepad I have some points to remember before going for the external call. Let me open both. Uh, where is that? So this is consumer. So, I will open the consumer also. Changes will be in consumer. Service side, no changes. Okay. Whether somebody is changing, is, is calling from client side or server side, does not make any difference for the serv services API. Only consumer will say that I am calling through client side through Ajax or some other consumer may say. I am calling from server side. It is totally up to their own way. Services says wherever you want to call, call it. But one policy is there, security policy. So, that I want to tell you prerequisite before going to this example. One is web API product detail, one is web API product underscore consumer. This one we can close it now. Uh, whenever you consume any web API through client side, means through Ajax, okay? few points to be remembered. I have noted down here. First, you have to go to the service. There is a security policy called CORS. Okay? Its full form is cross origin resource sharing. Cross origin resource sharing. Okay. What it says is, uh, it says only specific domain can be mentioned to allow. By default, all domain. But if you want to say for security, I want to allow only specific domain. What do you mean by specific domain? Imagine you are developing one web API and you are developing it for a business purpose. right? So, you want that web API should be consumed by other consumers. Whomever you sold that web API, imagine facebook.com is purchasing, flipkart.com is purchasing, abc.com is purchasing. So, you can say that only these three websites can access my web API, others cannot. That kind of facility you can give it. If you want to allow everybody also, you can allow it, no problem. You can say star, star, star or allow any origin, one function you can call, uh, that you can do, but that is for a security policy. So, cross origin resource sharing used for uh, domain restriction security. You 
you can tell that which domain domain means that www.something.com that is called domain facebook.com is a domain abc.com is a domain so which domain should access my api which should domain should consume my api that also you can do okay so it's a security feature in web api so you have to go to your middleware and you have to add this two lines have written here okay one is for allowing everything another is for allowing specific thing either of these two you have to use not both of them i have commented this line either of this you have to use so if you are saying allow any origin allow any origin and all then it will go for everything one is called origin method origin name and one is called method name one is called any input header so allow any origin allow any origin allow any any origin any header that means any method any header any origin allow but here you can say with origin with header with method like that instead of allow any you have to say with 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 then you can give specific domain or specific header or specific method method means getter post header means if any header data you want to pass so this is called cross origin resource sharing that means if this particular line you are putting in your middleware then it will say the provision of security otherwise no security you can say okay so when you are consuming particularly client side call security is very important because server side call at least you can say that facebook server flipkart server you know abc.com server three domain means three ip address but in case of client call you cannot say that today user is calling from his laptop tomorrow he is calling same facebook.com from a cyber cafe computer so how many computers ip address you will restrict so it is not possible to limit the ip address of the computer right hundreds of computer can access same website so that time consumption is happening directly from the target computer where you are accessing facebook.com so tomorrow you are accessing from your mobile that means directly from your mobile the api will api call will go to directly api server not through your website server and then api server that's why security is very important so without the security policy client side call cannot happen one is called best practice one is called restriction it is restriction this time if you want to allow everybody also you allow everybody like this but you have to put this line then only your client side call will happen and step number 2 is in the same middleware one is for defining the service one is for using the service right so in using service area you have to go and say that app dot use course of whatever policy you defined if this policy name is xyz here you can give xyz so this is one additional security technique you have to follow in addition to what you learned just now from ajax other things same you know nothing new you already know what to do only this url will be changed other things will be exactly similar whatever function you are calling that local host colon something something slash api whatever full url has to be written here because it's a separate api not the internal controller other things will be similar no changes so let's do that here i have already mentioned that as per our requirement so let me go to api first and show you what we have done this is already we have developed before so nothing new same api function either one is http get one is http post http get is just uh, fetching the data and displaying http post is saving the data so i am not going through again web api already same example what we have done it is little modified what modification only in program.cs 
I added those two lines. One is this, okay, which is add course C O R S means cross origin resource sharing. This line I wrote and commented for your understanding, saying that if by chance only abcd.com, xyz.com, ijk.com like that, some specific website's name you want to give the permission, whichever computer doesn't matter, but the access should you know consumption should come from that website only. If that is the restriction you want to put, then this line you have to have. If you want to allow everybody, then you have to put this line. Allow any origin, allow any method, allow any header. And below that my policy, you have to activate. So line number 25, I said app dot use course of my policy because I have given your name of the policy as my policy. So this is called C O R S cross origin resource sharing policy. Now let's run it and keep it ready. Apart from those two lines, nothing changed from the API side. Same API has to be called, but this time has to be called through Ajax. So make sure your API is up and running. So I just made it up and running, minimize it, minimize this as well. Now go to your consumer application. So in your consumer application, you have to consume it through client side. So what I did here, I have a table. Like in previous example, we have a drop down. Here I have a table, id equal to tbl. Okay. So what I want, whatever get products it is bringing through API, I want to bind to this table. Okay. So I just made a blank table, put on ID as TBL. Now come to your Ajax area. So document are ready and everything same. Table I am making empty. That time I was making drop down empty. Here Ajax call. Type equal to get. That time we made type equal to post. This time I am making type equal to get. URL that time we made internal action method name. Here I am giving full endpoint URL. Content type application slash JSON. Data type JSON. Content type means what content will be returned back from the API to the consumer. Data type means what data will be taken from consumer to API. Success means if everything goes well, this, this URL is existing, you know, cross origin resource share policy is also allowing then all the regards if everything is working fine then that return data will come and sit in this x now i am looping through that x dollar each of x i index y each data exactly copy paste of that function only this url i change nothing else uh, that time i was saying state id dot append this time i said tbl dot append because that coming data i am going to bind into uh, that table. That time it was select list item, so only two column, text value, text value, text value. But, but this time it is product ID, product name, price, whatever it is. Okay. So I brought all the data like product ID, product name, and price. Then I appended TR, TR, TR this time. That time I was appending option, option, option. So drop down set text the option tag table text tr tag. So I prepared it and binded it. Just one error block I put, if by chance anything goes wrong, uh, then mention this as security policy is hampering, please check it out. right? Uh, so let us run this out. So what I did here, in the consumer also same consumer, I copy pasted our web API and uh, uh, I prepared a new controller and here I prepare one extra function called index function. So I want when this index function will be executed, it should go to that view and it should call from the view. So go to view. This is the one which we discussed just now. So it will come here and on document or ready itself, it will execute this because on load of the page, I want everything to be executed. So put a breakpoint here, line number eight, and make sure that this action method is default action method so client consumer client consumer and index action method so let's run it 
don't forget to execute your web api first after that only consumer so this time instead of calling the api from controller i am calling the api from cshtml make sense because that was server side call this is client side call that was call through c sharp http client this is call through jquery function name as ajax both you should know but carefully you take a decision when you should use ajax when you should not only security matters so continue i have put a breakpoint in my api also so you can see line number 17 so i should not have any issue if i'll simply click continue it should go there and stop yeah it came here to api now i already have breakpoint in line number 20 so just continue this time i am in api api is collecting the data from the database it is collecting some eight records and if i'll click here continue then it should go to our api so let me click on continue now it will go to consumer now consumer is taking that data and displaying header i have not mentioned if you mention header here you will get the header also okay here you can mention the header also like trtd simply blank i put you can say product id product name 3td you can put and say product id product name etc so that heading also will come border i have not given if you want you can give the border also so those things you can do so here only difference is line number 19 have a look again here you have to put that full url including your action method uh, which is your api url okay no parent child separate url full url you have to give here including your action method name all right only if you have only one function in your target api then this is optional up to controller also you can give it but if you have at least two function in your api then you have to give the action method name also other than that everything same like our drop down binding so this time my consumer collected the data from api but not through controller but directly from the cshtml now cshtml will bind it to browser that means instead of your server to server call previously it was happening like this if this is your facebook server imagine assume that your api is consumed by facebook.com then facebook server was accessing your api server it was happening like that when when we are collecting consuming through server side but now this is called one more layer called maybe your laptop or some cyber cafe laptop where you are accessing that website facebook so here user access user is accessing facebook.com and facebook.com is consuming this api in the ajax that means instead of a to b b to c here it will be a to c like this here it will be like this so this is called browser this is your server where application has been deployed so without informing to application server it is directly consuming the api like this insecure but faster so this is web api server that's why that security policy is there It's mandatory for a minute if i'll go here and comment that security policy you can try that at home okay just for a minute you comment this security policy and then run it okay it will not allow server side it will allow but client side it will not allow okay ajax call it will not allow it will go to error and it will say that security policy is not allowing to consume the api so you can try that at home all right so how 
Ajax is used for internal call and how Ajax is used for external call you saw overall benefit is without re-rendering, reloading, redisplaying and extra time consumption it collects directly the data from the target whether it is one web API, whether it is one internal controller but it collects the data directly from the uh, target. Uh, good thing is that. Bad thing is since the coding will be visible you know whatever coding you are writing, whatever input parameter you are writing, whatever format of the data you are writing that will be visible if you somebody goes to the page source and uh, client side scripting, client side actions are easily hackable right. You forgot to close the browser and clean the history came back. So, your most of times what happens your client side stuff will be available in the history also. You thought I logged out everything gone but your client side stuff might have been already there in the history of the browser. So, if once he will go to history he can easily come to know which page he accessed and what Ajax call. So, what is his API URL everything you will come to know from the page source. Now, once that hacker came to know your API URL in detail, he can start experimenting to hack your API also. So, that is not a good idea, but if you think you have applied cross origin resource sharing, security policy, whatever insecurity or any you know uh, hacking type of things will come that will be responsible uh, goes to that particular domain then you can go for activating that course policy and then use it in the Ajax. So, your server API server does not restrict you whether you are calling from uh, this or that, but if they are really allowing client side call then they can uh, go for it. Alright, so this is about the Ajax, uh, go through it if you have any question you can clarify next class as well.